The most exalted order of the Star of India was an order of chivalry founded by Queen Victoria in 1861. The order included members of three classes regardless of gender. Knight Grand Commander GCSI. Knight Commander KCSI. Companion CSI. No appointments have been made since the 1948 New Year Honours, shortly after the partition of India in 1947. With the death in 2009 of the last surviving knight, the Maharaja of Alwar, the order became dormant. The motto of the order was Heaven's Light Our Guide. The Star of India. The emblem of the order, also appeared on the flag of the Viceroy of India and other flags used to represent British India. The order was the fifth most senior British order of chivalry, following the Order of the Garter, Order of the Thistle, Order of St. Patrick and Order of the Bath. It was the senior order of chivalry associated with the British Raj, junior to it was the most eminent order of the Indian Empire, and there was also, for women only, the Imperial Order of the Crown of India. History Several years after the Indian mutiny and the consolidation of Great Britain's power as the governing authority in India, it was decided by the British Crown to create a new order of knighthood to honour Indian princes and chiefs, as well as British officers and administrators who served in India. On 25 June 1861, the following proclamation was issued by the Queen. The Queen, being desirous of affording to the princes, chiefs and people of the Indian Empire, a public and signal testimony of her regard, by the institution of an order of knighthood, whereby her resolution to take upon herself the government of the territories in India may be commemorated, and by which Her Majesty may be enabled to reward conspicuous merit and loyalty, has been graciously pleased, by letters patent under the great seal of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, to institute institute, erect, constitute, and create, an order of knighthood, to be known by, and have for ever hereafter, the name, style, and designation, of, the most exalted order of the Star of India. Recipients The first appointees were HRH the Prince Consort HRH the Prince of Wales The Right Honourable Earl Canning, GCB, Governor General of India and Grand Master of the Most Exalted Order of the Star of India HH Maharaja Shri Sir Vagji Thakur Morvi State KCSI for representing Kathiaware on the day of Victoria's Jubilee ceremony given by Queen Victoria for this honour HH Sir Vagaji Thakur make them sister H. H. Nawab Mir Taniyat Ali Khan Bahadur, Afzal Ad Dalla, Asaf Jah V, the Nizam of Hyderabad H. H. Jayajirao Sindhya, Maharaja of Gwalior H. H. Raja Bahadur Bindeshwari Prasad Singh Deo, Raja of Udaipur State in Chota Nagpur States H. H. Maharaja Duleep Singh, former Maharaja of the Sikh Empire H. H. Ranbir Singh, Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir H. H. Tukajirao Holkar, Maharaja of Indore H. H. Narendra Singh, Maharaja of Patiala H. H. Khandareo Gaekwad, Maharaja of Baroda H. R. H. Maharaja Bir Shamshur Jang Bahadur Rana of Nepal H. H. Nawab Sikandar Begum, Nawab Begum of Bhopal H. H. Yusuf Ali Khan Bahadur, Nawab of Rampur The Right Honourable Viscount Goff, Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army The Right Honourable Lord Harris, Governor of Madras The Right Honourable Lord Clyde, Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army Sir George Russell Clerk, Governor of Bombay Sir John Laird Mayor Lawrence, B.T., G.C.B., Lieutenant Governor of the Punjab Sir James Outram, B.T., G.C.B., Member of the Viceroy's Council Sir Hugh Henry Rose, G.C.B., Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army 
Hey Nizam Sir Mir Osman Ali Khan Siddiqui Bayafandi Asaf Jah VII, Seventh Nizam of Hyderabad The Order of the Indian Empire, founded in 1877, was intended to be a less exclusive version of the Order of the Star of India, consequently, many more appointments were made to the latter than to the former. The last appointments to the orders relating to the British Empire in India were made in the 1948 New Year Honours, some months after the partition of India in August 1947. The orders have never been formally abolished, and Elizabeth II succeeded her father George VI as sovereign of the orders when she ascended the throne in 1952. She remains sovereign of the order to this day. However, there are no living members of the order. There were only three female members of the order, Sultan Shah Jahan, Begum of Bhopal and her daughter, Haja Nawab Begum Dame Sultan Jahan, and Mary of Tech. The last Grand Master of the Order, Admiral of the Fleet the Earl Mountbatten of Burma 1900 was assassinated by the Provisional IRA on 27 August 1979. The last surviving Knight Grand Commander, H. H. Maharaja Sri Pamanabhadasa Sir Chithira Tirunal Balarama Varma GCSI, GCIE, Maharaja of Travancore 1912-1991, died 19 July 1991 in Trivandrum. The last surviving Knight Commander, H. H. Maharaja Sir Tej Singh Prabhakar Bahadur K. C. S. I. 1911-2009, Maharaja of Alwar, died on 15 February 2009 in New Delhi. The last surviving Companion of the Order, Vice Admiral Sir Ronald Brockman C. S. I. 1909-1999, died on 3 September 1999 in London. Topic. Composition The British sovereign was, and still is, sovereign of the order. The next most senior member was the Grand Master, a position held ex officio by the Viceroy of India. When the order was established in 1861, there was only one class of Knights Companion, who bore the postnominals KSI. In 1866, however, it was expanded to three classes. Members of the first class were known as Knights Grand Commander, rather than the usual Knights Grand Cross, so as not to offend the non-Christian Indians appointed to the order. All those surviving members who had already been made Knights Companion of the order were retroactively known as Knights Grand Commander. Former viceroys and other high officials, as well as those who served in the Department of the Secretary of State for India for at least 30 years were eligible for appointment. Rulers of Indian princely states were also eligible for appointment. Some states were of such importance that their rulers were almost always appointed Knights Grand Commanders, such rulers included the Nizam of Hyderabad, the Maharaja of Mysore, the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir, the Maharaja of Baroda, the Maharajas of Gwalior, the Nawab of Bhopal, the Maharaja of Indore, the Maharana of Udaipur, the Maharaja of Travancore, the Maharana of Jodhpur and the Maharao of Kutch. Kashi Naresh Prabhu Narayan Singh of Benares and Sir Azizal Haq were appointed Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire in 1892 and 1941 respectively, Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire in 1898, and Knight Grand Commander of the Order of the Star of India for his services in the First World War in the 1921 New Year Honours, rulers of other nations in Asia and the Middle East, including the Emir of Kuwait, the Maharajas of the Rana dynasty, the Khedive of Egypt, the King of Bhutan and the rulers of Zanzibar, Bahrain and Oman were also appointed to the order. Like some rulers of princely states, some rulers of particular prestige, for example the Maharajas of the Rana dynasty or the Sultans of Oman, were usually appointed Knights Grand Commanders. Women, save the princely rulers, were ineligible for appointment to the order. They were, unlike the habit of many other orders, admitted as knights rather than as dames or 
Ladies. The first woman to be admitted to the order was H. H. Nawab Sikandar Begum Sahiba, Nawab Begum of Bhopal. She was created a Knight Companion at the Order's foundation in 1861. The Order's statutes were specially amended to permit the admission of Queen Mary as a Knight Grand Commander in 1911. Topic: Vestments and accoutrements. Members of the order wore elaborate costumes on important ceremonial occasions. The mantle, worn only by knight's grand commanders, was made of light blue satin lined with white silk. On the left side was a representation of the star see below. The collar, also worn only by knight's grand commanders, was made of gold. It was composed of alternating figures of lotuses, red and white roses and palm branches, with an imperial crown in the center. On certain collar days, designated by the sovereign, members attending formal events wore the order's collar over their military uniform, formal day dress, or evening wear. When collars were worn, either on collar days or on formal occasions such as coronations, the badge was suspended from the collar. At less important occasions, simpler insignia were used. The star, worn only by knights grand commanders and knights commanders, included a sunburst, with 26 large rays alternating with 26 small rays, it was in gold and circular for knights grand commanders, and in silver and eight pointed for knights commanders. In the center of the sunburst was a light blue ring bearing the motto of the order. Within the ribbon was a five-pointed star, decorated with diamonds for Knights Grand Commanders. The badge was worn by Knights Grand Commanders on a white, edged light blue ribbon, or sash, passing from the right shoulder to the left hip, and by Knights Commanders and Companions from a white, edged light blue ribbon around the neck. It included an oval, containing the effigy of the sovereign, surrounded by a light blue ring bearing the motto of the order. The oval was suspended from a five pointed star, which may be decorated with diamonds depending on class. Unlike the insignia of most other British chivalric orders, the insignia of the Order of the Star of India did not incorporate crosses, as they were deemed unacceptable to the Indian princes appointed to the order. Topic. Precedents and privileges Members of all classes of the order were assigned positions in the order of precedence. Wives of members of all classes also featured on the order of precedence, as did sons, daughters and daughters-in-law of knights grand commanders and knights commanders, see order of precedence in England and Wales for the exact positions. Knights Grand Commanders used the post-nominal initials GCSI, Knights Commanders KCSI, and Companions CSI. Knights Grand Commanders and Knights Commanders prefixed Sir to their forenames. Wives of Knights Grand Commanders and Knights Commanders could prefix Lady to their surnames. Such forms were not used by peers and Indian princes, except when the names of the former were written out in their fullest forms. Knights Grand Commanders were also entitled to receive heraldic supporters. They could, furthermore, encircle their arms with a depiction of the circlet a circle bearing the motto and the collar, the former as shown either outside or on top of the latter. Knights commanders and companions were permitted to display the circlet, but not the collar, surrounding their arms. The badge is depicted suspended from the collar or circlet. See also List of Knights Grand Commander of the Order of the Star of India